Hello there and welcome to Saturday the 10th of February 2024. My name's Nick C as in Nick as in surname of C with double E on the end of it. Welcome to the golden show that never hopefully ends and never gets me nervous <laughs> as I speak. But of course this video today will be for the channel or whatever channel that you are watching and it will be of a mixture of videos that we have done this time using the iPhone 7 camera which is slightly different to the Samsung A12 which is what you're watching me on now and it's a mixture of a place that I visited for touring with us called March quite a while ago and of course we've got some Ely pictures and some various other pictures that are well worth watching Let's have a look now. Watch. Well, we start with the Weatherspoons Hotel and Restaurant of the Hippodrome in March. It's definitely worth coming along to visit this restaurant, even if you've never been to March. And I've never literally been to the hotel and stayed the night there. And hopefully one day I'll get the opportunity to do so. But until then, of course, from my date, which is Saturday the 10th of February 2024, I haven't actually been to March Weatherspoons Hotel of the Hippodrome. It is Monday the 14th of November 2022. The cross country has arrived at March train station in Cambridgeshire. You can see it for yourself. What a choo-choo this is. For anyone that likes trains, this is for you. It's heading towards Peterborough, hence, of course, why my Peterborough train is running late. And it's coming up now, actually. Our train is coming. And that's the one that will take you to Cambridge, eventually. And it'll go through Manny, Ely, or Maney, Ely and Cambridge. Let's see if I can find a seat. It's fairly busy. Well, it's fairly busy, isn't it? Well, just got on the train. It's about a minute late, but of course, yes. Can't wait to go. So, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, it really is me. I thought I'd take the hat off to somebody that may be watching now, whoever that is. And now we'll take a look at a, a sort of figure in Cambridge, which is quite a famous figure. You'll find out what I mean in just a second. But all we know in the clue is that it's something to do with Snowy Far.
amazing. And now we will switch to, of course, Cambridge to Costa Coffee in Havehill, perhaps, and then we'll go on to something really interesting and a first video that I've actually done in Royston and that was using the iPhone 7 and the Costa Coffee one in Havehill was the one that I use using the Samsung A12. And of course I'm in a peculiar area of Royston right now um, and it's pretty much quiet down here there are a few people about, but very, very quiet. This is the churchyard of the actual church of Royston. I think it's still not used as a church as much because there's a little bit of scaffolding just there. Now this coffee shop here, yeah, lovely coffee here. Uh, business hours are normally 8 till 4 p.m. Monday to Saturday and Sunday, even open on a Sunday, 10 o'clock till 3. But unfortunately, they are closed at the moment due to electrical problem. They say they were closed for a few days. Sorry for any inconvenience. But the next time I come here, it might well be open. Look at that. It's a chance to have a look inside. It's quite nice, isn't it? Isn't that when the train strike's happening? <laughs> so that's where it takes place inside the uh, town hall proceeds in aid for Ukraine, the parish of John the Baptist. As I take a quick walk around the churchyard here, you can see a bit more of the scaffolding here. The reason why I'm continuing with this camera is because the Samsung A12 is out of battery. So this is the graveyard. A lot's changed since I last came here. Well, just coming down Church Lane, which is just literally here. A lot of graffiti here. Don't know where that's come from. Is it Bansky? Or do you think that's cool? Look what we see. The main Weatherspoon's here. It's called the Manor House. Remember where you see it. Hello everybody, let's hope I don't get a passerby interrupting us here. But welcome to Saturday the 16th of July 2022. It is day one still here on the iPhone. Just in case you're wondering, and the sound is slightly different to the Samsung A12. That's the Samsung A12. And of course, let's continue with this rare tour of, of course, a different part of this famous seaside resort in the UK in the East Anglia in particular. It's called Great Yarmouth and this particular area is called Euston Road. Rather like the name of a Euston area of London, I think. So let's check out this area here and of course this is the Range Court Lodge where we're staying here and of course our room is somewhere around about there and further on. So yeah you can just basically see it from here um, it says over there no vacancies but here it says something but vacancies <laughs> I forgot to put the sign up there but never mind I think it's all fully booked up including us so there's building contractors here 
and the people that have booked to stay here as well as building constructors such as holiday makers and the car park is at eight pound today sometimes it varies from five pound to seven pound eight pound a day it is at the moment because it's summer and plus of course cost of living prices go up as you know and of course you can see half of the car park is pebbly there they can't really do anything to re-turf that for whatever reason you can see how pebbly it is and you can see there's a normal car park there but this site used to be a hotel many many years ago you can see where it would have been on that particular note so it is in gorgeous weather here so of course i'm going to press on here and head towards this way i can't think why of course a lot of famous videographers out there actually don't tend to visit this sort of area it is such a area that they miss out on so that's why we're doing it just look at that the actual street stretches all the way down there that heads towards k star i believe there's a residential area just here and it really looks a marvelous sort of street to go through and this road actually takes you onto Regent Road. Okay. To prove that is this sign here leading to Patchett Road and Prince's Road and Regent Road as well. Wesley Road or Wellesley Road. If we walk this way and go further down this route You'll get to Sainsbury's here, which is quite useful to know about in this area here. We're getting a lot of cool breeze here. Apparently it's going to be really extremely hot on Monday and Tuesday. We'll find out if that's actually true, because we don't know for sure yet. But also in that direction, yes, I'm pointing over there, is the Great Yarmouth Minster. Unfortunately, Julian Spoons, known for his organ playing, is not apparently playing there even as a live or even as a highlights it's because the person that usually allows Julian to play on the organ someone that has normally been put in charge is not very well and uh, of course we wish them we wish the person actually a speedy recovery seen one of these sort of signs around Great Yarmouth. As you see, the reason why I'm filming the path here, you can see the path is very neat and tidy down here. That's what I like about it down here. So there we are. I hope that you've enjoyed most of what you have seen, if not all of what you have seen on this video clips of some of the samsung a12 which we did include i didn't actually tell you that at the beginning here i forgot to mention that but of course mostly it's been iphone 7 and the last one was great yama for about two years ago from this year of 2024 which is of course a saturday the 10th of february 2024 which is now of course sunday the 11th of february 2024 so it was Saturday the 10th of February 2024, but it's now changed to Sunday the 11th of February 2024, if that makes at all any sense. But, yeah, of course it doesn't. But I would say this now. It's good to recap on the past videos that we've done and put them together perhaps in a DVD form as well. So if you'd like us to do that, to recap some of the great memories of touring with us, then of course let us know and you'll be watching the video forever basically and the videos that live forever the sound of the videos that will live forever and uh yeah hopefully never ends and yeah in a golden way as well but thank you very much for listening if not all to the videos and uh as i say the last video has come from about two years ago, Saturday the 16th of July 2022. Can you believe it? And the one in the March area, we only did a little bit of March. I think I've got another video when it was 
really wet and misery in March. Uh, of course, not the month, but the actual town called March in Cambridgeshire. And uh, I know it's a trek from the train station to get to the actual town of March. So, yeah, maybe I should consider a taxi getting into the actual town and, of course, yeah, maybe getting a taxi back to the train station because it is a hell of a walk if you're not used to it. But, yeah, if you're fit, then, of course, by all means, carry on walking miles and miles and miles until you get to the actual town and the Hippodrome Weatherspoons, which is also a hotel, which I haven't yet, as I said at the beginning of this video, um, I haven't yet stayed the night at the Hippodrome in March, which is the town that I'm talking about here in Cambridgeshire. That's the Hippodrome Hotel Weatherspoons. So all in all, I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, if I can find some more stuff of the locker, then I'll be more than happy to piece them all together for you all to see. If you like this video and want more of this in the future, let us know and maybe we'll put some copies of some of the best videos that we've done and some exclusive ones that you might not have seen on the channel. So, yeah, we're doing a little bit more. Some channels do memberships and exclusive content. We might even consider doing extra DVDs for you to take home with you because some of you still have DVD players and we have facilities to be able to burn some stuff onto CD or even, actually, video, DVD, rewriters, whatever you call it these days. From all of us here, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out.